So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So in this part I'm actually going to continue with Hannah Carlson's Magical Dawn with my Derwent Inktense pencils again. Um, so this is obviously one of the others I've been doing with Derwent Inktense. I'm not sure if it'll take one or two parts to finish all these leaves. We shall see. Um, what I started with last time was basically my Derwent Inktense Iron Green. And I used that to obviously do all these shadow areas. So we've got all those shadow areas around the little jewels and the gems. And oh, oh sorry, I'm hurting a lot at the moment because I don't have any painkillers at all for this ankle. Uh, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm doing that. I still can't actually remember what colours the centre stem was, as you'll notice I have left that and I left it in the other one as well because I had to go back into the other videos and find out what that was. I'm going to work that out. I'm sort of thinking for these um, little white flower areas I'm thinking like some oranges and yellows and something something along those lines I'm thinking something that kind of stands out against the bright red flower. But yeah so I'm sort of starting to try and think of ideas and obviously brown stems for the, the bushes but obviously um, going by what I've done in this top area obviously I'm going to have the green centre stem of those leaves but I need to go back over the video and work out exactly how I did that. I need to adjust it again. <laughs> Problem with moving it out. So yeah, so this time I'm actually going to start with my Vivid Green, my Do It Intense Vivid Green. And I'm obviously going to, I'm just going to start from here and work my way across. If I don't finish all these colours or the water parts in this part, obviously I'll continue it to the next part as I said because I'm just doing about half an hour sections at the moment trying to get done what I can but I don't think I'm going to get done everything I was hoping to get done. But obviously this is after, you'll see this after, um, after I've had my surgery and stuff like that so I don't know if I'll get everything done that I want but or all the videos done that I want but I'm sort of going to try my best but it's not looking like I'm gonna get eight videos done right now by the time I have to edit these tonight and all of that but yeah it's still June the 4th but my surgery is tomorrow and so yeah and this is gonna sound weird because it's gonna be later on obviously when you see it so it's all confusing because obviously you won't see this till after the surgery has happened so you'll be thinking I'll be talking about present tense when I'm actually talking about future tense uh-huh no that's confusing the vi basically the video is happening in the future but the things that I'm talking about have already passed that's just, uh, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. But yeah, basically I'm just saying things as I think of them that I think you need to know, but pretty much by the time you get these latest colouring videos, obviously that will have already passed and I will have had the surgery, so. Yeah, I hope this is making sense anyway because it's kind of confusing because I do these videos, pre-record them, and then I talk in um, in that moment tense but then it's not uploaded for <laughs> quite a few days and then it's like hang on I've just said all this stuff and it's not even properly well it is kind of relevant but you're hearing it after it's already happened so it's like hmm that's a little confusing possibly but yeah I do the best I can. But yes, so. <laughs> Sorry if it does get a bit confusing as to what I'm talking about, but it's basically what I'm talking about in current time 
but it turns out to be past past tense I guess by the time you see it because I'm pre-uploading things that makes more sense why didn't I think of saying it that way in the first place uh, I think I'm losing it sometimes well lack of sleep I probably am losing it yeah so yeah I'm just going around where we had all those shadows as well as for some areas bringing it out and bringing a little bit of a, a light shadow area for some I need to we want to try and leave space obviously for the two other colors in the leaf so I'm just being I guess careful with the amount of vivid green that I put down but at the same time I am also trying to get enough coverage for it to have an effect I guess you could say I've still got to finish the last of my packing and last of my packing and sort out shall we say sort out oh video edits that's what I was thinking <laughs> brain not functioning <laughs> But yeah, I've still got quite a bit to do tonight and I don't know how well I'll sleep because the last have many nights I really haven't slept well at all due to pain. But yeah. you're enjoying these parts anyway that I do get done before my surgery anyway and I really can't wait to I guess edit and upload them and all of that because I just love sharing them with you all Master Chef Australia lately. It's about I don't watch TV regularly, but every year for some reason I just love watching Master Chef Australia. I love watching that the cooking and stuff. People reckon that it's just to do with disagreements and upset and blah blah blah, but I like watching it just for the recipes and the different types of things they do and the places they go to, slash travel and yeah. I don't know if anyone else watches MasterChef at all or not, even if it's MasterChef in... I've discovered recently that there actually is MasterChef in other countries. So I don't know if anyone else watches it. But yeah. It's something I enjoy doing anyway. I typically tend to, most of the time, catch up on it on the computer anyway because... I don't always... watch it on the TV or I just want to go to bed because I'm exhausted but then I can't sleep and blah 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 so typically I tend to just shall we say watch it on the computer and that um on the it's called 10 play it's a place called 10 play but basically they upload the and the channel is basically channel 10 and they basically upload it onto there with the, all the different channel 10 videos and or TV shows basically and yeah like you now have to subscribe up subscribe to the, the thing it's not a cost thing you just 
subscribe to it for free and then you can watch it but you have to put in an email now which I was kind of put out when they first did that but yeah so as you'll notice here some of these leaves are actually quite small so there's not a heap of space in them and you'll notice some of them have filled up quite a bit I've tried leaving white space where I can but I'm not always able to leave as much white space as I want so I'm just gonna 20 minutes. Oh. But yeah. I also learnt something interesting today too. I never knew that when you have surgery that you actually sometimes go to the actual ward that you're in and your bed in that ward before you go down to the surgery because I was told that today and I've never had that happen before. I've always had to wait in like the pre-op areas or whichever with my past surgeries on my left ankle even though, well obviously it hasn't gotten the best, it helped a bit but it hasn't totally fixed itself shall we say with the left leg and hopefully something can be done about the left and I can start like whilst I may never have full ability to be able to do everything I want or be able to do things easily and I may always need equipment and stuff to help me I'm actually fine with that because if it can at least help a little bit I feel that it is worth it to you do the surgery as much as the nerves may kick in and all those positive thoughts may go out the window but I feel like it'll be worth it if it just even if I do need help from equipment and stuff if it can help things improve a bit it's worth it to me it is So I'm doing my little light shading areas as I go here. Turns out I'm an afternoon surgery tomorrow too, so yeah. stuck on the legs of the feet from the chair. <laughs> fun, fun. I'm hoping that 
once I've recovered a bit that I'll be able to get back to doing a lot more videos easier without having to just go back to bed and stuff because of the pain. So I'm really hoping it'll all work out with this upcoming surgery. I really want it to. Because I definitely feel it needs to happen. I'm sort of going over these shadowy areas with um, a vivid green but also some of those shadow areas I'm still going to add the other colors over it but I've just gone with the vivid green over it because there's such small spaces and obviously they're all sort of where the shadow would be so that's why that little space I just completely filled it because it was already basically filled and I'll add the other colours in still but it just has shadows there so I wanted to fill those in pretty much but some of these areas are sort of quite tight with what colours you'll be able to fit because they're so small so you're not going to fit in as many colours in these spots as you may want but we do the best we can we do So I'm just basically previously following my laid down shadows from my previous pencil colour.
Okay, I just need to pause for a minute because I'm starting to sort of doze off a bit here and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to pause for a minute and then I will come back and continue with the rest of this leaf and this leaf with our uh, vivid green. And yeah, I will see you back shortly. So hey everyone, I'm back. So I'm going to continue with my vivid green here. Yeah, I'm still not hugely woken up. It's hard to wake up, wake yourself up when you're tired due to, well, not sleeping well due to pain, but also due to not being able to exercise easily. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll potter on and get there. I'm also trying to finish it. Um, because obviously my mum is coming in tonight and yeah, I just, I want to try and get some parts done that I can. I'm sort of looking at it now and I'm not sure if I will get the finishing part of these leaves done or not. Of course you're welcome to, shall we say, finish the leaves by using the method from the other videos where we've done the leaves. You're entirely welcome to do that and finish them that way. Some of you may already have. I've noticed some of you do and that's obviously totally fine totally utterly fine but yeah I'll just have to see how I go as to if I get um, the final part of this done because there's about 10 minutes left on this part because there's probably about I worked out there's probably about an hour but just because I want to try and maximise the videos, I'm going to split it into two. So I kind of going to, shall we say, pretty much um, once this one hits half an hour, then I'll finish that one there, and then I will continue with the next half an hour after that. But I'm hoping. I'll be able to get it done I guess we'll see if not then I can just continue it once I come back but yeah it's kind of a pain having to go for surgery <laughs> but I guess it is what it is but yeah I can't say that I will be continuing it straight after my surgery because I'll probably be in too much pain and Blah, blah, blah. So, I don't want to say that I will be continuing it after my surgery when I won't have internet reception or any of that. And I don't think I'll be really feeling up to it after surgery at all. I don't think I will be. And I'm not intending to take these to the hospital or anything either because I don't want them getting pinched or anything. So, yeah. I won't be doing it in the hospital either. But, yeah. Either way. I guess do the best I can. And, yeah. I just have to continue the other bits when I can. after the surgery is done, whenever that is. I guess it is. But I hope you'll enjoy what I have put up anyway. I'm just trying to do the best I can with things. And I may try to do a few more flip throughs as well if I can. But yeah, it just depends because I've got a lot that I have to do tonight still. Before tomorrow. Including cook dinner. So yeah, 
girl, so apologies in advance if I confuse anyone to do with <laughs> the day that I'm having surgery and that considering this is being posted a lot later on. just because of the fact that it is in the spine so as you'll notice I haven't taken all these areas um, around the full way just because it is going into the spine and it's kind of awkward to get the pencils around those spots very awkward in fact yep. Do what you can do, I guess. See, as you notice here, there's a lot of the dark greens have been put on the page and that's not necessarily deliberate, but more because I was finding it very awkward in this area and I still find it awkward in this area. And as a result, it makes it hard to put colour in those areas that doesn't end up blocky because it's so awkward that you're kind of cramping your hand into all sorts of odd angles to try and get in there and as a result it kind of, I guess, doesn't work out as neat as you may want it. I guess that's what I'm saying. Just because I really can't get into that spine. I would lift the book up and possibly try but I don't want to do that right here and now either because of the fact that you won't be able to see it properly due to the light anyway so yeah so now to find the next color which is my Dermot Intense Apple Green and I want to bring that in over all those other colors and leave some space obviously for our final colour. So we've still got one more colour to come yet. And obviously a bit of a little light shadow area where needed. So I'm just trying to get this down this spine first because it is such an awkward area to work in. And I don't really like working in these closed in spine areas. It's much easier when they're, I, I guess, not going right into the spine with the image, but you can't necessarily avoid it either because that's how it works with some of these colouring books. It is. So I think I'm actually going to just pause there for now and I will come back in with the rest of these colours in the next part and do the water in that next part too. If I can do it all, if I don't get all the water done in that next part, I might do part of the water bits off camera, I will see. 
or I may continue the water bits in the next part and then go on to the next colour. I'll just see how time goes. But anyway, I will see you later. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe and comment as I always love hearing from you. And I will see you next time. Bye.